Peace, love, and light, family. I hope the sun is shining wherever you are and you're living in your greatest purpose. I am starting something new, family. This is something for the collective. So it's not limited to any signs. It's not limited to water signs, fire signs, or earth signs. This is uh, something that I've been led to do by my spiritual team. And um, I've decided to begin what I refer to as Wisdom Wednesdays, where you get an opportunity to get to know me a little bit. We can connect on a more personal level. Um, while I share some information with you, um, some insight onto some, into some things that I know. And today's first Wisdom Wednesday, I've decided to focus on this subject of grooming. <clears throat> grooming. And one of the reasons why this subject actually came to um, came into being is that um, for the past couple of days, there's been a huge focus on um, there's been a huge focus on um, these news clippings about you know celebrities. And I'm not going to mention any names for the sake of really just not putting too much energy into the um, into the situation. There's been a lot of information about like celebrities, you know, and some of the heinous acts that are being um, that are being done behind the scenes in Hollywood and, you know, so on. And one of the things that, you know, one of the videos I was watching there was a mention about a particular individual that you know and many of you may have been hearing news about this this individual uh who's been in the news quite often lately and there's news about this individual and how you know he groomed other celebrities into um this lifestyle of <clears throat> monstrous lifestyle really this lifestyle of you know being used to <laughs> being used to basically you know same sex acts um being used to um taking other people's like innocence from them okay this person okay was grooming other people who then groomed other people to take the innocence from celebrities who are coming up and are wanting opportunities for themselves to make something of themselves and this prompted the subject of grooming because um, I see that as something that's not limited to Hollywood. And many of you may agree with this. It's not something that's limited to Hollywood. Like many of you may agree that you've seen this within your own families. You've seen this within communities. You've seen this, you know, on a... Uh, national level okay you've seen this on an international level where people communities families um use hmm, let me take a minute here This is really just um, it's where these individuals take um, take someone's ignorance and basically uses it for the sake of making them become something that they would have normally not become. You've seen it in cases where, you know, 
possibly your own families have tried to forcefully turn you into something that you're not. One example of this may be where uh, many of you have learned that you're different from your family members or friends or whoever it is, and you, you practice a different uh, form of spirituality than, uh, than your families. And I can tell you that many of you are not meant to go on the same path as your own family members. Okay. Um, for example, you may find that, you know, your family members practice traditional religions, you know, they go to church and that's not the path that you've been led on by your spiritual team to go on. Um, however, you know, you may find that family members will try to literally groom you into becoming um, and practicing traditional religions when you are meant to be someone who practices spirituality instead of religion. And spirituality is different than religion in a sense that they're intertwined. Um, practicing spirituality encompasses an energy of wholeness, whereas uh, the concept of religion really more focuses on following a particular doctrine. So many of you may have noticed that your own families or friends may have tried to groom you into practicing religion when you know, in fact, that your spiritual team have led you to practice spirituality. Now, in my own life, I've noticed that... Um, I believe more so in African spiritual tradition. And many of you have seen this in my videos where I, um, I've i talked about Vodun, I've talked about Candomblé, I've talked about Santeria, uh, African spiritual practices. And in my life, I've noticed that, you know, in my own um, upbringing, that those who are closest to me pra who practice um, Christianity or practice a religion that's different than, than myself or practice a different form of spiritual tradition than myself have tried to convince me that my spiritual practice is wrong. And many of them may not even notice that they've been groomed to, to think that way and move that way by a system that is that was built to make them think that way and so going back to this concept of grooming is it's it's really interesting because like <clears throat> it's this concept of grooming is really a concept that's that really puts um people in the confines it puts people in a certain confines it restricts you OK, and when I was doing when I was looking up grooming, I saw various definitions. You know, um, I saw a concept called sexual grooming where like predators basically groom, you know, the naive into becoming what they want and, you know, different types of grooming. And I saw a general definition of grooming, which is basically training someone for something. Okay, training someone for something. And so you, you really do see that a lot of people, they have an agenda. And a lot of times the agenda that they have, um, it's, it may even seem like it's out of their control. Like if, if they're not even conscious, if they're not really living on a conscious level, you'll notice that a lot of people who are doing what they're doing, um, and not to say that those who groom people don't know what they're doing, but a lot of folks who are grooming people, I typically see that, you know, they some they themselves are lacking something. They're the ones that's been groomed into a lifestyle that a lot of times they themselves do not understand and they choose not to understand. They choose not to look deeper into a certain belief. They just choose to blindly follow it. OK, so there are different types of grooming. So today, you know, I'm really focusing on the grooming that happens on 
an individual level and we can get to the community level and the national level another time. Uh, but on the personal level, those that choose to groom, you know, others for the purpose of, you know, convincing them to become something else, you get to know that that act in itself is is it's an act of like control it's an act of keeping others within a certain confines for a very specific purpose those who choose to groom others those who choose to train others to stay within a certain confine you get to know that they're functioning that that Okay, be clear about this, that they're functioning on a certain spiritual level that's different. Okay, those who choose to continue to groom, those who have chosen to um, literally keep others within a certain confine and controlling their thoughts, their behavior patterns are functioning within a certain spiritual confine themselves okay and you get to understand that they themselves are within that confine and um like for me the way i see it is like there's a certain awakening and a certain level of seeing that many of those who are functioning on that level haven't seen and many people may have different opinions on this um, and you get to know that this is something that's happening. This is something that the chosen have experienced for quite some time that there are people, friends, family, people that they know who they've seen various patterns of behaviors where they may have called it, you know, <laughs> different things. Um, in essence, you know, it's, it's really them trying to groom someone, trying to put them in a certain confine. Now, when you get to a point where, and many of you did get to a point or you are getting to a point where you've awakened to this, um, to what is going on. And when you decide to actually, you know, change your ways of being, oftentimes what you notice is that there's a lot of pushback. You also notice that, um, you know, you, st you may start distancing yourself from those individuals once you realize exactly what's happening. Now, there's a lot of people who actually never realize what's happening. Okay, in the case of this celebrity that I was watching that, you know, continues to quote unquote groom other celebrities, you know, and it is sexual grooming. There's different types of groom. This one was specifically sexual grooming. You know, this person never gets to the point and it, it never gets to the point where they wake up or they become aware to stop this because what ends up happening is they keep literally training others to do the same thing and it becomes a vicious pattern it becomes a vicious cycle and this is how you get folks who are literally entrapped in their own minds and and spiritually become stuck because those grooming processes make them do certain things that then then puts them in a deeper hole now, you, you as the chosen who've chosen to wake up and to uh, taken a different path, when you when you become aware of what's going on, what you notice is that um, you begin to distance yourself because you are aware that as someone who is uh, a child of the light, you are a star seed that you are not meant to be bound you are not meant to be stuck. You are not meant to be blindfolded. And this is this is the reason why many of us, okay, many of us have chosen to um, to keep a distance. And you notice that when you begin to do this, this is an act of self-love. This is an act of 
um, this is actually part of the awakening process. This is part of the ascension process that you're going through. So this is just a message for many of you who have gone through this and you, you've, you, you overstand that that's what it was. And you are in a place now where you are healing that, um, you are <laughs> the fact that you're able to to see what's happening this is like the first sign that your spiritual team is letting you know you're on the right path so i just wanted to come on here and let you know that you are on the right path continue to be on this right path um refuse to be groomed by anything or anyone that is um limiting your power your connection to source and your light that is the message for you all right peace love and light and abundance and joy and all of 